Hi, everyone. Uh, really, really great to be here in what's uh, for sure my favorite uh, innovation and startup um, event. So I'm Luis. I'm CEO of um, ILOF. And ILOF is a deep tech, health tech company working on the personalized medicine space. We are uh, collecting and ingesting massive amounts of multimodal data to help severely cut the time and the cost of developing personalized therapeutics. So we're an under 30 person team uh, based uh, in the UK, uh, in London and in Oxford, uh, with uh, an amazing tech and engineering center uh, in the north of Portugal. And uh, we have a very clear vision of accelerating the new era of personalized medicine. And why is it important to focus on tools that can actually bring to light a new future for personalized medicine? Well, the reality is that for the past centuries, new treatments have been basically developed on this idea that the same medication will work equally for everyone. But unfortunately, this is really not the case. And you can take Alzheimer's as an example. Just in the last 18 years, there's been more than 400 clinical trials that failed, with only recently one treatment approved, and still with some controversy, and not geographically uh, global. And this creates huge barriers for patients that are in badly need uh, of these treatments, especially on the Alzheimer's field. And the reason why that happens is that heterogeneous diseases, such as Alzheimer's, are incredibly hard to crack. There's poor biological knowledge in most of them. There was a clear failure of this one-fits-all drug approach, so the same medication will not work equally for all the patients. And you're going to be needing tools that can take the general patient population and can divide it into the different subparts. And the truth is that pharmaceutical companies and biotechs have been trying to take this into account so they've been trying to take uh, uh, and to run clinical trials that take the patient heterogeneity and the patient individual differences into account. But in reality, they face massive challenges. So what you're seeing here, it's a lumbar puncture on the, um, on the left side. And this is still um, one of the uh, techniques that is used to screen patients for clinical trials. It involves sticking a needle this big into the patient's back. Um, other tools that are used are million dollar machines that unfortunately don't scale and are only accessible in a couple of parts per country. And all of these basically creates huge barriers to scaling, creating very expensive clinical trials, but more important, a very uncomfortable experience for patients that leads 90% of them to drop out of these clinical studies. So when we started out in 2019, uh, we spoke with 100 global stakeholders, experts, pharma, CEOs, and this was a phrase that uh, we took note and that has been driving and guiding our development and that has been the heart and soul of our mission at ILOF. What ILOF is doing is building a cloud-based library of disease biomarkers and biological profiles that can absolutely transform the way we select patients for this clinical study. And the way it does so is by ingesting multimodal data, so not only data that is already in your electronic health uh, records and hospitals or that can be easily accessible, but also data from optical sensors that can be easily collected from bodily, easily accessible bodily fluids. No more needle in the patient's back, no more invasive, expensive procedure. So basically what we're doing is we're integrating massive amounts of optical and clinical data to create rapid phenotyping and prediction tools. And even though this can be absolutely applied to the clinics, we're laser focused on solving the problem of the industry and helping large and small pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies get their leading medications into the market faster. 
And this is one of the case studies. So this is uh, an Oxford-based uh, uh, biotech uh, developing a very promising treatment for Alzheimer's disease in which we've helped cut around 40% of their cost and 70% of their time all across allowing for a much more convenient and humane patient experience. We started out in uh, 2019 and we've already made quite a significant impact. And the reason we did so is that we're able to bring in into the bio world a subscription foot on the door model where most of the revenue through this screening service is created when value and savings are enabled to our customer. This creates a win-win approach that is unbeatable in the market. Our vision is really to become uh, the go-to platform to accelerate personalized treatments for complex diseases, not just in neurogenerative, but also in new areas, such as ovarian cancer, such as uh, mild cognitive impairment and infectious diseases. And we're only 1% done. Uh, we have raised around 10 million from global venture capital firms, including Microsoft Ventures, Lunar Ventures, Remind, Quiet Capital, and others. And we're currently engaged uh, with more than 20 clinical institutions uh, in the world, including two global pharmaceutical businesses. And this is the team that makes it happen every day, uh, comprised by a mix of scientists, entrepreneurs, and inventors. Um, a mix of biologists, physicists, and computer science brought together by a strong passion to bring the new era of personalized medicine and allow life-saving treatments to get into the patient's hands faster. So, unfortunately, I'm sure a lot of you have already been affected by this Alzheimer's epidemic, and if you have, I ask you all to join us in this mission uh, to completely revolutionize the way we develop personalized treatments and hopefully also to contribute to a better world without Alzheimer's. Thank you, and do reach out to me after the venue.